guys thanks for coming back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is Anna and I make videos about financial independence getting out of debt and generally just bossing life today's video is going to be in the bossing life category and in today's video I just wanted to share with you my top organization hacks that completely changed my life if you've been following me you know that I have quite a lot going on. I have my main job, I have my many, many side hustles, I have, you know, hopefully a social life. And I say hopefully because who knows what's gonna happen um, at the moment, obviously no one has a social life. And I'm also now sort of studying and things like that. I basically have a lot of questions from people I know about how do you do it? How do you manage to fit all of this in and stay sane and just, yeah, hopefully a short and sweet video, but I'm going to tell you my top three organization hacks that really changed my life. So hack number one is twofold. The first part is to use a calendar generally to plan everything. Like I kid you not, I plan everything. I time block. I'm sure you have seen many productivity videos on time blocking. If you haven't, it's really easy to look for it. Essentially, all it means in a really simple way is to block out parts of your day to do certain tasks. This means anything like cleaning from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock on a Saturday, block it out and just do it. Like don't do anything else in that time, just what you've blocked out your time for. I find that this genuinely really, really helps. Like it is literally the only way that I stay on top of things and I don't constantly have my mind racing thinking, when am I going to do this? Have I thought about doing this? Have I planned this? Like, I know that the second something is planned, it goes into the diary. And it means I can balance my time between what I'm doing at work, um, when I've got like shifts planned for my sort of zero hours contracts, when I'm seeing people, even if it's like so far in advance, it goes in the diary. That way when I'm being offered a shift, I can just look at my diary and be like, oh, I can't that day because that day I'm doing this or that. But the second part of this hack is to use only one calendar to do this. So previously I had my Outlook calendar on my work laptop, which I would use for work stuff. And then I would have my personal calendar for my personal stuff. And just trying to marry the two, just it just didn't work. Like I was getting discouraged, I was forgetting stuff, I wasn't using both and I knew that my work calendar I had to use every day. So what I've done is I now use it for both. So all my personal stuff goes into my work calendar too, all my time blocking. Even on weekends, I put stuff in my work calendar. I've got my work phone to access it and it's fine. And that way I've got peace of mind that everything is planned. My hack number two is to actually have a daily to-do list of some sort. Not a general to-do list of like, these are all the things I have to do and it's like this long. For me, I, I've i tried various different ways of doing this. So I've tried like online apps, I've tried like calendars, I've tried like all sorts of different things. And the one that's really, really worked is a little diary that basically just shows me, it has empty days of the week where I can put the date on which I find really useful just because I'm a little bit OCD with stuff like this. And if I'm going on holiday, I have nothing to do. I don't want two empty pages, like for two weeks of being on holiday and stuff. Um, so it really works. So what I do is I plan out what I need to do by day. And I don't just mean like you have these meetings and things like that's what the diary is for. What I mean is you need to call your phone provider to cancel your contract you need to film a video, you need to remember to get in touch with someone, you need to go shopping, you need to, you know, anything like that, which you would put on a to-do list, even work-related stuff, put it on this to-do list. I guess the second part of that as well is do this regularly. So what I try to do is every Sunday, I will sit down and think of all the things I have to do in the following week and write it all out, just plan ahead my week. It really, really helps. It might sound really OCD, but honestly, when you have so much on, this is the only way to make it happen. Like, otherwise I would just be constantly in a state of panic of what have I not done? What have I forgotten? When am I gonna do this? When am I gonna find time to do this? And it's a bit less daunting than seeing like a really, really long to-do list and going, oh my God, when am I gonna find the time? Breaking it up across the week or many weeks 
makes such a difference. So my third hack is a little bit of a weird one, but I have organized my emails into so, so many folders. What this means is that I have more clarity in my mind. I don't feel overwhelmed when I look at my inbox because before I did this, I would go into my inbox and have seven or 8,000 emails in that inbox and be like, I can't find anything. Trying to search for emails, you know, if someone sends me an email and says, oh, remember this thing or like ask for something where I need to find a previous email. It would waste so much time looking for these emails. Whereas now I have a proper folder system in my inbox. So I guess what I'm trying to say is find a system that works for you, which means in your main inbox, you have nothing. Literally in my inbox, the only things that stay in my inbox are things I have not dealt with. Anything that doesn't need dealing with goes into a folder. Anything I've dealt with goes into a folder. I have personal folders. I have different sorts of work folders. I have like folders for everything. <laughs> Again, this might sound super pain in the ass organized and sort of like my video about the food inventory. It might seem really daunting and it will take time to set up and find a system that works, but don't give up because now I instinctively know where to look for certain emails. My mind is clearer. I save so much time looking for emails. It's just incredible. I cannot recommend this enough, like genuinely. I really hope those tips help you get organized and stay on top of your life and really help you hustle and really achieve all those goals. If you have any question or any other awesome sort of organization hacks, let me know in the comments below and see you next time. Bye.